I want you to be critical of yourself for a second. Are you someone that always feels like you need to tell people about what you plan to accomplish? Deep down, like you feel like you want people to think you're ambitious or driven, or maybe you want to seek validation or acceptance, or that you're more likely to follow through if you verbalize it. Screw that. Work in silence. I heavily believe it's important to let people know about our goals, our dreams, our ambitions, because when we throw it out into the universe, the universe listens. We start to meet people or find something that helps us bring us to those goals. But when you're striving to become the person you aspire to be or break out of negative cycles, work in silence. Stop feeling compelled to tell everyone about every little thing you plan to do. People don't care. I'm gonna be straight with you. All people pay attention to are the things that we don't accomplish. We fail a million times before we get it right. This happens, it's part of life. Of course, someone's going to keep thinking that you're gonna mess up. When they've seen it happen, they've heard it happen a million times. That isn't their fault. But now you're not just having to deal with the mental hardship yourself of going through those failures, but you're giving other people the power to validate that. Be the person who surprises everyone. Showcase your abilities, not your intentions. Who are you really doing these things for? Why do you need anyone else to give you approval? Why do you want to give them control over something that you are doing for you? Don't be a part of the world of participation awards. People don't care about how often you try to do something. They care about what you've done. Just the other day I had this realization. I, I do what everyone else does and says on a Monday, I'm not gonna drink for a month. Does that sound familiar? And then two hours later, you're on the source. No, just kidding, but the next weekend you're having another drink. I, I decided a month ago that I wasn't going to drink for a month, but I didn't say anything. The weekend came and I didn't make a big deal on the Friday night when my missus offered me a drink. I didn't say, oh no, I'm not drinking this month. I just said I didn't feel like it at that moment. The month came and went and I didn't have a drink. And my wife or any of the main people in my life around me didn't even realize it happened. When we share our plans, we give others power over them, even say mean well. There's this quote by Tony Robbins, which I read out every single morning when I go over my principles, and that is, what you hold in your mind on a continuous basis is exactly what you will experience in life. See, when we make a big deal about it, we give it power. We tell ourselves that this is a difficult task. This isn't normal. When you make it a big deal to other people, it then gives them power. You say, I'm gonna grow my Instagram so I can get more clients. It's going to be hard, but I'm committed. Your brain just hears, this is hard. You tell your friends about it and half of them say, oh man, that's, that's awesome. It's gonna be hard, but you, you're committed. You've got this. All your brain hears is, this is hard. The rest of your friends say, oh, I wonder how long this is gonna last. And that there's another thing that you're trying. Or even say don't. You're telling yourself that, that you think they're saying this. Your brain again hears, this is hard. It doesn't even have to be bad intention, but now you're thinking about it. That person is talking about it. You're thinking that that person's talking about it and it consumes your thoughts. Have you ever been on a diet where you go out to dinner with friends and you say, no, I'm just gonna have the chicken and salad because I'm on a diet. I know you have, everyone does it. I always used to do it. I was overweight as a kid and every day I would say it. Don't tell them, they don't need to know. You now just basically said, if I'm doing something I don't normally do and I don't like doing it, but it's just temporary. Just order the salad, no one cares. If you don't say anything, they're just worrying about what they're ordering. Putting in work in private is something I learned from my old man. When I was a kid, we were both overweight at the same time. One day he just asked if I wanted to go for a ride with him. I said, yeah, sure thinking we'd go for a 10 minute ride around to the shops and back, or maybe down at the river. He took me down the freeway and we rode for over an hour. Every single day for the next few months, we did the same thing. No big deal, just, hey, you're coming for a ride again this morning. After a while, I, I lost all this weight and people at school were just like, you're not fat anymore. When did that happen? In a world where we're constantly bombarded with the need for validation and the pressure to share every little detail of our lives, there's something beautifully liberating about keeping our dreams close to our chests. When you work quietly, you're not hiding away or shutting people out. You're creating a sacred place where your ambitions can grow and flourish without the noise of external opinions. You're taking power away from other people. This is your battle to go through. You don't need other voices to contribute. Working behind closed doors, is, it's not just to reduce the barriers, but 
It also shuts out the external noise. We get rid of distractions. Humans are not made to be efficient multitaskers. As soon as we add another task to the bucket, we, we dilute the two things that are in there. If you've ever heard about mum brain, that is the perfect example of it. Mums are so concerned about their child that whenever they try to do something else, it only gets half of their attention and eventually they forget what they're even doing. There's a book called Deep Work by Cal Newport and it's all about this. He talks about how JK Rowling did so much of her writing in cafes with just a pen and paper. There were no emails, no distractions, nothing letting her mind wander. Bill Gates would go on think weeks where he would completely stop any active work from Microsoft to stay in an isolated location for a whole week. He would just read and study, research papers and brainstorm ideas. He says some of his most innovative ideas came from these trips. Sometimes the noise of everything around us is too loud to even hear our own thoughts. You have ideas, dreams and ambitions that are too valuable not to be seen or heard. So shut out the world. You do you. You don't need validation or approval. You don't need to give anyone else power over you. You need to do you. It is your life and you are in control. Disappear, shut out the noise and live your potential. Sometimes you gotta take a break from just about everything, disappear, come back and shock the world. I'm talking to that athlete. I'm talking to that administrator. I'm talking to that nurse, that doctor. I'm talking to that student. I'm talking to that communicator. I'm talking to that pioneer, that inventor. I'm talking to that entrepreneur. I'm talking to that preacher. I'm talking to that person who refuses to stay where they are. I'm talking to that person that doesn't have a problem laying in obscurity because you know that when you come out of the dark room, all eyes on you. We live in a culture of busyness, distraction, and noise. And sometimes the only way something's going to change is if we disappear. Sometimes you gotta delete the app. Sometimes you have to walk away. Sometimes you have to fall back into the dark room and focus on you. Everybody wants destiny. Everybody wants manifestation. Everybody wants fulfillment. Everybody wants the next level and the relationship and a higher quality of living. But nobody wants to eliminate distractions. Nobody wants to disappear for three months, four months, six months and get into a place where you can focus on just you. What if you could just shut out every distraction? What if you could just shut out the world for just a season and focus on you? A man is rewarded in public for what he does in private. Can you unplug for just a moment and focus on you, focus on what matters? Why are you here? What is your destiny? The, the reason why you don't see it, the reason why it has not manifested, the reason why you are so frustrated is because you have not been willing to forsake all that you've been called to forsake and to follow through behind closed doors. Sure, you can talk about it. Sure, you can plan it. Sure, you can write it down. Sure, you can go to the conference and hear about it. You can read about it. But at some juncture, you have to disappear and put the work in and come back and shock everybody that doubted you. I'm talking to that man, that woman, that boy, that girl who feels the fire in their belly. It's time for you to shock the world. You may have to sleep in your car. You may have to go without food. You may have to bounce around from couch to couch. You may have to sacrifice like nobody in your family ever asked. But can you do it behind the scenes when nobody's looking, when nobody's watching, when nobody understands the measure of passion that you carry? Can you keep going? Don't stop. You're right there. Go through the process in the dark room that prepares us and equips us for the stages of destiny. It's time to get real. It's time to get raw. It's time to look ourselves in the mirror and come to the resolve that this version of ourself is not going to carry us in the stretch. That I've been this version of myself long enough that if I don't change, if I don't do something about this, then I'm gonna find myself bankrupt. Some of the most monumental and transformational portraits and pictures that we've ever seen were developed in the dark room. We celebrate 
athletes and we celebrate critical thinkers and innovators and actors and we praise them and coin them our heroes and we follow them by the millions. We love what they do in public, but you don't know the story behind the glory. You don't know the blood, the sweat. You didn't see the tears that they cried, the prayers that they prayed, the countless weeks where they went without sleep to get where they are. One of the greatest tragedies in life is to live and not know why you're living. I'm just wondering if there's anybody here that wants their future, that wants to fulfill their destiny, that wants to manifest, that wants to walk in discipline and determination. I'm just wondering, is there anybody here that's willing to disappear? Are you willing to forsake all distractions? Can you hide yourself in the library? Can you hide yourself in the gym? Can you hide yourself in the boardroom and plan and caucus and do what is required behind the scenes in order to manifest the moment? Can you hide yourself in your books? Can you hide yourself in your closet? Can you hide yourself in the prayer rooms? Can you hide yourself? We have this passion to be in the public eye, but no patience to do the work behind the scenes. Stop telling the world what you are about to do. Steve Jobs once said, we do not say anything about future products. We work on them in secret and then we release them to the world. We only have so much real estate in our minds and our hearts. We only have so much bandwidth in our mental capacity. And the more distractions, the more delusions, the more negativity that we allow to take up real estate in our hearts and in our minds, the less energy we have to fulfill the call, to fulfill destiny, to manifest the idea. Everything that you think about, that you meditate on, everything that has to your attention has to be worth your time. So now it's time to navigate and do an appraisal of everything that's in our life, everything and everybody in our life. Time to do an appraisal and ask them this question. Are you worth my time? If you're not, it's time to unplug. Time to unplug. Time to unplug. I'm just wondering if there's anybody that can hear my voice right now that has come to the end of themselves and they are willing to eliminate distractions. They are willing to delete social media apps if they have to. They are willing to walk away from everything that is distracted, everything that has diluted your devotion and your determination, every disease and dysfunction and disorder that has pulled you from destiny after you have heard it, after you have received it, after you have written it down, after you have spoken it once, do what is required to manifest it into reality. If you can see it in your head, you can hold it in your hand. Stop telling everybody what you're going to do. Stop telling everybody what your next move is and just disappear and do the work that is required. Don't be bitter. Don't be frustrated. Listen, just remain faithful behind the scenes. Promotion is coming. Stages and opportunities are being prepared right now as you sacrifice in secret, as you put the work in in the dark room, as you do what is required to hold in your hand what you see in your hand. When no one is there to affirm you, when nobody's there to validate you, when nobody is there to agree with you, you build in the dark and you announce it when it's finished.